The rock bottom fallacy refers to the mistaken belief that a person must hit an absolute low point before they can effectively begin to recover or improve their situation. This concept implies that experiencing a severe crisis or extreme adversity is a necessary precursor to positive change. It often appears in discussions about addiction, mental health, or personal development, suggesting that people need to reach the lowest possible point in their lives to gain the motivation or clarity required for meaningful transformation. This fallacy is problematic for several reasons. Firstly, it assumes a one-size-fits-all approach to personal growth and recovery, ignoring the diverse experiences and needs of individuals. Not everyone who faces challenges will benefit from hitting rock bottom, for many, reaching such a low point can lead to further harm, making recovery even more difficult. The idea that one must hit rock bottom can also discourage individuals from seeking help early, potentially prolonging their suffering and increasing the severity of their problems. Additionally, the rock bottom fallacy overlooks the potential for positive change without experiencing extreme adversity. Many people can and do make significant improvements in their lives through gradual progress, support from others, and self-motivation. Emphasizing rock bottom as a prerequisite for change can minimize the value of incremental steps and the importance of seeking help before a crisis occurs. This perspective can undermine the efforts of those who are working to improve their lives without reaching a point of total despair. The fallacy also perpetuates a dramatic narrative that can be appealing in storytelling but does not necessarily reflect reality. Stories of individuals who turn their lives around after hitting rock bottom are compelling and often highlighted in media and popular culture. However, these narratives can create unrealistic expectations and pressure on those who are struggling, making them feel that their experiences are less valid or impactful if they have not reached an extreme low. Moreover, the concept of rock bottom is subjective and varies greatly from person to person. What constitutes rock bottom for one individual might be different for another, making it an unreliable and inconsistent benchmark for when change should occur. This variability further complicates the idea that hitting rock bottom is a necessary step toward recovery or improvement. In conclusion, the rock bottom fallacy is a misleading notion that suggests extreme adversity is essential for positive change. It disregards the diverse pathways individuals can take to improve their lives, often delays seeking help, and perpetuates unrealistic narratives about personal growth. Recognizing the value of incremental progress and early intervention is crucial in supporting individuals on their journeys toward recovery and self-improvement, without the need for them to experience an absolute low point.